Saudi desert, home to this rally for the third time. Barren, empty, and very, very quiet. Until the Dakar arrives. Electricity, buggies, cars, trucks and bikes break the silence. A carousel of speed and sand, of huge wheels and unearthly beasts. A terrestrial lunar landscape, beautiful, magnificent desolation. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Each competitor in Dakar Nation commits themselves to achieving the goal before the month is out of riding every stage and returning safely to Jeddah. It's no small step for a man or woman individually and one giant leap for them combined. Sometimes all you can do is look to the skies and howl to the heavens. Houston, we have a problem. Now I'm uh, very worried because of my, my dad and um, we, we were lost. Tira pa allá, tira pa allá. Go over there, go over there. Richard. Richard. Yeah, 45, 50 minutes, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a shit way to start the rally, but it's, uh, it's only early days and We'll wait and see what happens. Uh, it could have been a lot better because when I saw we were going around in circles for 15 minutes, it couldn't have been much worse. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like my rally is over. It's the assistance truck that didn't see us, and if it goes, it's the truck we need. Monica is going in a car from here to see if she can catch them. As the new year began, if you had a need for speed, if you were gasping for air, if you were going round in circles, or you just wanted to jump ahead, the first week of Dakar 2022 had it all. We have a way from the, uh, the bottom of the big dune. I think some uh, big surprise uh, is coming also. I, uh, this is the feeling, you know. We only have third gear, so it's no way to get up. I'm not used to having a Dakar like this. Usually it's calm, pretty calm. Here, I mean, it's a complicated start to a rally. Uh, the podium, it's not going to come, it's over. There are a lot of things to learn, but nothing to gain. Now, it's just all about the team. We saw Carlos asking for us to stop. We stripped our car so he could carry on. My father used to give me like a present, video tapes from MotoGP and from Dakar. And every day when I was child coming back from school, I was looking always this video tape, rolling, rolling, rolling. I wanted to, to leave the mark in the motorsport. And today I, I made it. Well done. Thank you. Great job. We'll be back uh, next year better and stronger for sure. I hear there's a record of how many stage wins in one Dakar, and it's nine, and it was set back in 1984. So uh, I got to break that record. Uh, hopefully we can get that done. Monica is in the car that you can see in the distance to see if we can meet the truck. Yeah, she caught them. No, 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 no. No, no, vienen. They're coming now. Yeah. 
We're not here to look at the scenery. Yeah, but anyway. Through vast canyons and endless wastelands. Over dunes. Across unbroken wilderness. Mountains. Dust bowls. Scorched earth and bleak terrain. The Dakar Rally is as unique as it is mesmerizing, as beguiling as it is beautiful, the panoramic landscapes unparalleled in elite sport. Time to think about the action from the first week now. And in the car, Sebastian Loeb is fighting to find a way to the top, weaving through the desert when navigational errors left the Frenchman on the edge. Flying back into the top three, local hero Al Raji, the Riyadh native, gliding his way into contention. Yet it's a long road back to catch the leader. Can anyone stop the dominant Qatari? Alatir is the Dakar top dog and first in the World Rally Raid Championship standings. Daniel Sanders storming to three wins in the opening week. Former champion Matthias Wagner without a victory but remains in the hunt. And five years on, Sam Sunderland is looking to earn a second crown. The Brits first, but less than eight minutes between the top four. In the quads, Andouka is out, which means a new champion will be crowned. Frenchman Giroud is the man to catch, but Copetti is breathing down his neck. Six wins from seven, and Seth Quintero is chasing records rather than the T3 title. Cheleco Lopez is the model of consistency. He stays out in front. When a golfer stands on the tee and shouts four, it means he's done a bad drive. You couldn't say that about Rodrigo Lupi de Oliveira, though. He's ruling in T4. Sotnikov has topped the trucking charts for six successive stages. But Nikolaev lies within striking distance. Kamaz, one, two, three. The devil makes work for idle hands, so it's just as well our rest day is over. We'll be back tomorrow, and you can catch us on Dakar.com, Twitter, Facebook, Insta, and TikTok. Mais qu'est-ce qu'il fait là, lui?